Pastor Naomi, have you experienced a season in your life where it was hard for you to take care of yourself while also being a pastor and taking care of other people in your congregation, in your community, in your mm-hmm. family? Tell us a little bit about a that season. story. Okay, eight, okay, there's more seasons. A way All of right, life. Let's yeah, go. A way of life. No, I think that right along the same lines of what April is saying, it's really important that um, as women, we do care for ourselves mm. first before we care for everybody else. And we want to do this for the long haul. Yeah. And I had to learn that lesson the hard way. You know, I unfortunately burned myself out severely about four mm. years ago. And it was so difficult because I really wanted to just be excellent for everybody else, mm-hmm. for my children, for my home, for my husband, for the church. Um, as a communicator, traveling, like I wanted to be excellent for, for all of it until I could not do it anymore. Mm. Um, it's literally the year that I worked out the least, mm-hmm. um, ate the most unhealthy, because I was just trying to get through my day and trying to uh, survive. Mm-hmm. And um, so you either learn the lesson by crashing the way I did, mm. <laughs> or you learn from my lesson and, and <laughs> you make the decisions to daily begin to commit to not only self-care, mm-hmm. but soul care. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if all we do is work out, eat healthy, and yeah. make margin for fun, it does absolutely nothing for our soul. Mm-hmm. So part of caring for yourself means investing in your time with the Lord and mm-hmm. Um, allowing that to be uh, where you lead from as well. Mm -hmm. Let it be healthy. Let it be good. Um, I had to learn not to simply make time for Jesus so that he could give me something to give the people. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to make time for Jesus because Jesus is worth my time Mm -hmm. and because he's the best And because you are worth it. And I'm worth it. Mm -hmm. And and being with him does more for me than doing absolutely anything else. So it, it it was a hard lesson, but it was a beautiful lesson. And it got me earlier on in life where moving forward, I, I plan to be here for a while. I'm not yes, going anywhere. Yes, sis. Please, yes. We need you, sis. Um, so April, uh, you have a wholeness assessment that mm-hmm. I really want, if you're listening to this, ladies, I really want you to get. Uh, what's your website? Uh, azerandco.com slash wholeness dash assessment. Okay, we'll put a link um, in the bio. But I did that wholeness assessment before I walked into this year. And it took me through, ladies, um, how am I treating my body? Like how much water am I drinking? How am I eating? Uh, How is my exercise? It took me through my meditation, my breathing. How long am I sitting sedentary when I'm working, Mm -hmm. right? Am I getting up every hour? I wasn't doing any of this stuff. Like Mm -hmm. it was taking me through my spiritual life. It was taking me through my relationships. Are my relationships healthy? Are my friendships healthy? Do I have community? Am I nurturing community? Um, What is my dreams? Yeah. And how am I cultivating them? Or am I just sitting on them, hoping they're going to happen, but not making any steps toward them? When I looked at everything holistically in my life, I realized I had to make some drastic changes coming into this year. And I am making those changes. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are. And I am doing it not because I want to just like slay all day, be like a boss woman. You know, I'm doing it because I want to be a dope leader because God's called me to be a dope yeah. leader. And I want to be a role model. I want to be example to young women carrying mm-hmm. her forward, the mm-hmm. carrying legacy of women that have been dope leaders. I want to carry it forward, but I can't carry it forward yeah. if I'm a hot mess. And so I really just, like you said, personal responsibility. I had to get myself together. This year is all about getting myself together, but it's not condemnation. What you've taught me, right? It's you're worth it. Like you're worthy. I'm worthy of that time. I'm worthy of loving myself. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of being loved. Like I'm worthy. I belong already. Like I think as women, we spend so much time trying to belong when the father's like you already belong. Yeah, yeah. And if you operate from the space of I belong, yep. it changes everything. everything. Yep. So, uh, girl, tell me about that. Like, <laughs> wh- I feel like you understand these things really, really well. Yeah, I mean, I I understand it from a personal experience. Like, sure. really, this work just oozes out of my own life mm-hmm. and my own struggles, my own challenges, my own brokenness, my own time in therapy. All of all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it also emerges from the stories of these women. I mean, I've coached over a thousand people in the last eight or nine years, and mm. a lot of them have been women. And hearing these stories and and doing doing the work of like, how is it that God has actually created us? Like, what's mm. the science here? And then what's the art? Like, there's a beautiful, mysterious, mm. messy thing about who we are, are as people. Like, 
we are three very different humans, mm-hmm. but we also have a lot that is in common with each other because mm-hmm. there's nothing uncommon to us, right? Yeah. We are we are connected and we belong together. Mm-hmm. So I think part of what I hear in your story, and you know, I have a fairly front row seats yeah. to your own life. And You're my friend, she's my girl. We're friends. <laughs> is that it, it's all about transformation? Mm-hmm. It's not about trying. It's not about proving. Mm-hmm. It's not about shame. It's not about trying it, trying to be you or you mm. or, you know, the woman who got me into leadership. Like it is about who God has made me to be and being transformed day after day. Mm. And transformation, how I best describe it, is a shift in purpose. Mm-hmm. It is being made new and shifting from who you are to who it is that you are intended to be. 